Logistics is one of the most important and complex part of any business and the application that we are going to take a look at today will help you manage the same. Hi guys, welcome to AppDNA where we talk about all things apps. My name is Akshay and the application that we are going to take a look at today is Logistics Management. Any businessman irrespective of whether he owns a small scale business or a large scale business would know that effectively organized logistics is one of the most important part of the business. It includes transportation, shipping, receiving, storage and managing every other aspect of the supply chain. The application that we are going to take a look at today is sure to help you in managing your logistics in a much better fashion. The application also has got four main features and they are as follows. It lets you add and manage your bookings. It lets you track your dispatches and deliveries. We'll also give you a database which contains all the information about the vehicles that you are using for your logistics. And we'll also be able to calculate the remaining stock in your inventory or warehouse. As usual, we'll be using Zoho Creator which is a low-code application development platform to create our application. The easy to use interface, the drag and drop features and minimal coding of Zoho Creator will help us make the applications quick and easy. Without further ado, let's get started. So guys, we are at the create application page of Zoho Creator and it's time for us to create our logistics application. Let's create from scratch and we'll be naming the application as logistics. Here we are at the builder. And now it's time for us to create the first form in this particular application, which is the add product form. And its report will act as the database of all products. For us to drag and drop the fields in this particular form, we're going to drag and drop two basic fields. One is a single line field and the other is a number field. We are dragging and dropping the single line field for the product name and the number field for quantity available. Also need databases about vehicles and drivers as those information are also pivotal in a logistics application so we'll be creating an add vehicle form to store information about vehicles now it's time for us to drag and drop a single line field to record the vehicle name or the vehicle type so we're going to give the field name as vehicle we also need to drag and drop a number field to record the vehicle number. So we are done creating the vehicle form. All the information that you enter in this form will be reflected on the add vehicle report, which will act as a database with information about vehicles. You can add more fields depending on your need. Now it's time for us to create the next form, which is the add drivers form. We'll be dragging and dropping the basic fields such as name, phone number, email, and address. Now it's time for us to add the next form, which is the add booking form. This is the backbone of our application. So let's get started with it. First field that we'll be dragging and dropping is the date time field so that we'll be able to record the time a booking is added. Now we'll be dragging and dropping a lookup field for the product. We'll be dragging and dropping a number field for quantity. Now it's time for us to drag and drop two more lookup fields for the vehicle and the vehicle number. Now it's time for us to assign a driver for this particular delivery. Now we'll be dragging and dropping a single line field for the status. We'll also be dragging and dropping two date time fields for dispatched date and delivered date.
So we are done building all the basic forms. Now it's time for us to create workflows for our logistics application. So in the first flow, so in the first workflow that we are going to create, we are going to automatically calculate the remaining stock or the remaining products in your inventory once a booking is confirmed. So let's choose the form. Now it's time for us to add a new action. We'll be adding a custom action on load so that this happens when the form loads. So now it's time for us to write the deluge coding. So what we've done here is that to calculate the remaining stock, we are reducing input dot quantity from quantity available. Now it's time for us to save this particular workflow. So it is for mail notification. So here in this particular application, the manager is the admin of the app. So each time a booking has been added, it is important that the manager or the admin receives a mail notification about the same. So we'll be adding a new workflow while using the form add booking. Let's name the workflow as notifications. We'll be adding a new action and this time we're going to click on notification and not custom action. Here we have a send email action from admin user ID to admin user ID. The subject is new booking. So we have to type the message here and we'll click on save. So we are done doing the notification custom action. Now we'll be adding one more action for notifications, show success message. So each time a booking is added, the success message will be shown. For us to do the next custom action, this custom action will be on a report. So we get a mail notification once a booking is added, we need to do the same for dispatch and delivery. We'll be adding a new action for single record. Let's name our action item as dispatch. We'll be adding a new action, custom action. Here, we've given request.status is equal to dispatched. That is, once the request.status is dispatched, a mail needs to be sent to the admin user ID. So for that, we have to drag and drop the send mail task. Let's fill out from to subject and message here. So here we've given the from as zoho.admin user ID and to as zoho.admin user ID and subject is dispatched and message as order dispatched successfully. So each time an order is dispatched, a booking is added, the admin will receive a mail notification. So let's update or save this particular function. Let's click on done and create the item here. We need to do the same for delivered. Let's name the action item as delivered. We'll be creating our own script here. Here we've given subject and message as order delivered and instead of dispatched here in the request dot status, we have given it as delivered. So it's time for us to save this particular workflow and we'll be creating the item. So both of them have appeared over here. Now it's time for us to add it into the report. So let's add fields. And here we've got two custom action items, dispatch and delivered. So we are going to add those. So we are done creating the two custom actions on the report here. Now it's time for us to test the application to see whether all these functions are working or not. So let's access the application. Filled basic information such as vehicles, drivers and products. So now it's time for us to add a booking and see whether our workflows work or not. Let's select a product. Let's select a quantity, assign it to a vehicle and assign it to a driver. So if we go to all bookings, we have got the dispatch and deliver custom actions over here. So once we click on dispatch, the status here is reflected as dispatched. Once we click on deliver, the status is reflected as delivered. So our workflows are working. Now it's time for us to check whether the email notification functions are also working. I've opened my email and I've received the respective mails for each custom action. First one for, was for booking 
and here i've got a system generated email saying a new entry has been added into the ad booking form of the application so we've got the same in dispatched and order delivered so our mail notifications of the application are working so the dispatched delivered and the mail notification functions when a booking is added for our application is working and it will also act as a database for information about vehicles drivers and products if you want to take a look at a logistics application that is much more enhanced and has got much more features please take a look at the logistics application in the zoho creator app gallery that's it guys i hope that this application will help in maintaining and managing your logistics in a much better fashion also don't forget to subscribe to the app dna channel if you want to see more such videos thank you for hanging out with me until next time goodbye